Good day! Here are the top stories in the Manila Times for Wednesday, September 8, 2021. The page one banner headline reads, Labor Department Probes Cash for Work Scam. The Department of Labor and Employment is investigating the alleged widespread irregularities in the implementation of its Tulong Paghanap Buhay sa Ating Disadvantaged Displaced Workers Program in Quezon City. Senate orders arrest of Michael Yang. Senate President Vicente Tito Soto III has ordered the arrest of Chinese businessman Michael Yang for repeatedly ignoring invitations to attend a probe of allegedly overpriced medical supplies using public funds. Group asks Comelec to scrap NDA. An Information and Communications Technology Group asked the Commission on Elections or Comelec to remove the Non-Disclosure Agreement or NDA as a requirement for the local source code review to boost Filipinos' confidence in the automated election system. Meanwhile, in other news, Go has not closed door on presidential bid. Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo has not closed the door on the possibility of running for president in the 2022 national elections. The Partido Democratico Pilipino Lakas ng Bayan faction, led by Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi, said on Tuesday even after the lawmaker repeatedly declined his party mate's push for him to seek the presidency. Digital Jab Certificates Issued in October the Department of Communications and Technology is eyeing a nationwide issuance of VaxCert PH, a digital vaccination certificate for COVID-19 in October. Pacquiao faction illegitimate. The Partido Democratico Pilipino Lakas ng Bayan, led by Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi, has asked the Commission on Elections to declare Senator Emmanuel Manny Pacquiao and his allies as illegitimate officers of the ruling party. Masbate under floodwaters due to Jolina. Heavy flooding hit Maspate as torrential rains brought by Typhoon Jolina with international name Consen pounded the island province since Monday night. In regional news, over vaccination drive in Tarlac, Mayor and Governor trade jabs. Mayor Andres Lacson and Governor Susan Yap traded barbs over a vaccination program in a barangay or village here. In world news, China leads biggest military drill. China on Monday started holding an international and the biggest peacekeeping drill participated in by 40,000 soldiers, codenamed Shared Destiny 2021. Taliban capture Panjir. The Taliban said they have seized the last province not in their control after their blitz through Afghanistan last month, overrunning forces that had opposed their takeover. In business, inflation up at 4.9% in August. The headline inflation accelerated to 4.9% in August 2021, the highest recorded since the 5.1% in December 2018. And in sports, Meralco and Alaska won't see action in PBA this week. Northport finally gets the opportunity to see action in the Philippine Basketball Association, or PBA's restart, at the Don Honorio Ventura State University in Bacalor, Pampanga. Rigoberto Tiglao and Father Anilio Aquino are the featured columnists on the front page of the Times. Tiglao gives a roundup on the COVID-19 pandemic. Where are we? Father Aquino exclaims, Sana all! In the Times editorial, it reminds leaders that communication and consistency key to new COVID strategy. Read all about it. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to our digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and keep up with the times. With Eric John Sikua, Paolo Dimapi, and Christian Maghanoi, this is the Fort Villaseran reporting. Have a great week.